Next question is from one Conur. Can your body fat percentage decrease without actually losing fat? 100%. Yeah. Well, okay, so I, I remember years ago when I figured this out, like, it was like before I became a trainer and I started figuring out body fat percentage, and I actually learned how to test body fat um, before I even took a certification course. I actually bought one online and tried to do it on my cousin or whatever. And uh, it was interesting. I, I gained weight. And my measurements would go down. I thought I was doing something wrong. Like, how is this possible? My, my body weight went up, but my body fat percentage is going down. I couldn't figure it out. And then, you know, my cousin who is better at math than me <laughs> than I am, he's like, well, yeah, it's a, if you have the same amount of body fat on your body, but you weigh more, yeah. that same amount of body fat is a Lean smaller percentage. Mass. It's a smaller percentage now. So if, uh, you know, if you weigh a hundred pounds and you have 10 pounds of body fat on you, then you're at 10% body fat. 10% of your body is fat. If you went to 200 pounds and you still have only 10, 10 pounds of body fat, now it's half. Now it's 5%. You just went down in body fat percentage because it's a smaller percentage of your overall body weight. Not to mention, you've also sped your metabolism up by doing this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, I love talking about this because it's probably, I think, I think this was a young guy who's asking this question, but- the people that really need to perk up and listen to this this conversation are my clients or the listener who has a, a large body fat percentage and has a long journey ahead of them of losing weight or losing fat. And this is a really hard concept to get them to understand is that that is actually what I want to do with that person. So client comes in 50 pounds overweight or more. And they say, Adam, uh, I don't feel good, all the, all the symptoms of why they're there, right? And I want to change this. Where do I start? I actually want to start right here. I don't, I don't want to decrease you on the scale, but I want your body fat percentage to go down, which may mean you may, be high, you may have hired me to lose 50 pounds on the scale because you thought that's what you wanted to do. When I got you to understand that we really want to just lose fat, we want to keep your muscle, you understand that. Then a month has gone by, and I gained you three pounds. You went up three pounds. Now, the if you can't explain this to a client, you could lose your you could lose your job really quick. You need to explain this. You need to learn to explain this because what the, the client needs to understand is that is an excellent place to be. Mm -hmm. To have added three pounds, even though your goal was to lose fifty pounds, to add three pounds to the scale but your body fat percentage went down a percent or two. Mm -hmm. that, that, what that tells us is that you've lost fat off your body, but you've also added muscle, which means we, and we know muscle tissue needs more calories to stay on your body. So if you're a higher weight and more of it's muscle than it is fat than what it was when you started with me, that means you've got a faster metabolism and you're leaner than when we started, even though... The scale says two pounds heavier. It makes it easier to continue to lose fat because one of the biggest challenges for people who are who have a lot of body fat to lose, one of the biggest challenges is not to lose the initial 10 pounds or 15 pounds. The hardest thing is to lose the last 10 or 15 pounds. And then what's even harder than that is to keep it off. And so what, what Adam's talking about is literally setting you up for success long term. That's what you're setting up for. Now we're having a faster metabolism. And that means that the 50 pounds is more likely to be gone later and it's much more likely to be off forever. The other point that you want to make with people is, you know, if you're, you know, uh, 200 pounds and your body fat percentage went down and you didn't lose any weight, you lost size. Remember, body fat takes up more space yeah. uh, than muscle does. Body fat's fluffy. It's not as dense. So five pounds of body fat versus five pounds of muscle, you can see a clear difference it takes up more space on your body. So I used to, what I would do with my clients is I would show them the body fat percentage, then I would do circumference measurements and yeah, say, mm -hmm. okay, you, didn't, you, you gained two pounds, but your waist went down a quarter of an inch and your thighs went down you know, a quarter of an inch. So you actually lost size, which at the end of the day, nobody gives a shit how much you weigh anyway. Right? This is such an important conversation. It's also the bone that I have to pick with shows like The Biggest Loser is because technically what we're seeing when we see that is not a good thing. So if a client came to me and, and this is later, right? This is later on in my career. Early on in my career, I fell right into like the biggest loser type of trap and that, that mentality of, mm -hmm. you know, just let's burn, let's burn as much as we can. Let's lose as much as we can, as fast as we can, because that's what they want. But later on in my career, I realized that that was a trap. So if I, if I, the same client hired me 
Okay, and this is, and you got to get good if you're a trainer listening on communicating this. If you hired me to lose 50 pounds, and you, and that first month goes by, and I lost you 10 pounds, I didn't do a good job. Mm-hmm. That's let that sink in for a second. You want to lose 50 pounds, 30 days in, and I lost you 10 pounds on the scale. I didn't do a good job. I would much rather see you have stayed the same or potentially increased your weight because we put a lot of energy and focus on building muscle and not so much on just losing weight. Mm. The weight thing will be easy. It will be easy if we build your metabolism up first. If we just go chasing the scale and the weight right away, sure, I could could have lost you 15 pounds in the month instead of 10. If I would have just made you eat less calories and ran you more, just like what we see on Biggest Loser. But what I know is that sets you up for failure. That's why 85% of those people put all the weight back on and some is because it's a terrible way to go after that. 